True repentance prepares the highway for the king. And the king comes. There were three lots of people in that reading. We didn't read it all, but if you go on, three lots of people say to John the Baptist, what must we do? There is a consequence to repentance. There is an evidence of repentance. And twice John says, well, go, go now and produce fruit in keeping with your repentance. He says it twice, 3, eight, three nine. Produce fruit. And they say, yeah, but like what? And interesting, the very first thing, and I was reading James this morning, and it's exactly the same sentence as we find here. In 3 verse 9, he says, there's got to be compassion for the poor. It surprised me seeing it there. I probably read that a hundred times. I'd never noticed it before. He says, look, if you've got extra food, give it to those who are hungry. If you've got extra kit, give it to those who are, are barely clothed. There's a pa- practical and demonstrable and tangible evidence of repentance and repentance towards God and turning towards him cashes out in being more compassionate to the needy. What an extraordinary thing. I'm getting right with God and suddenly there's a kind of horizontal effect for good for those who are needy. The test of repentance is whether we care for the poor. That's one test. And then there's a contrasted life. And he basically talks to the others about walking in the opposite spirit. To the tax collectors, he says, don't rip people off. In those days, tax collectors paid for the right to collect tax. They had to collect a certain amount of tax for the Roman authorities, and anything over that was their own to keep, and they would just put the the screws on people. He says, you collect just what you need. And then to the soldiers, he says, don't you be violent. You're there to uphold justice, not to break justice. And don't lie and be content with your pay. It's really practical. There's something really practical in this Christian living and the evidence of a transformed, repenting life. Repentance is not saying sorry. Repentance is looking different and living different and being different. It comes after being sorry, but it leads to actually a turning away from sin in order to turn to God. It doesn't take place all at once. God is so kind. He doesn't expect perfection of us. He knows what we're like. But as we turn to him and turn back to him and look closer and move closer towards him, he will show more and more things in our life that we need to turn from.